Continuing my tour of the various vowel symbols,、uh, the last one that I talked about was trap, or sometimes called bath as well, depending on what accent you're talking about.、Uh, most Americans say bath and trap, but there will be some Americans who make a difference between those. They'll say trap and bath, something like that. So that. Bath sound may fall a little bit into the one we're going to talk about today, which is the father sound. Now, J.C. Wells actually calls this the palm set of words, P-A-L-M. But I think most Americans actually say something a little bit more like palm, like the L comes in, and that tends to cause a rounding of that vowel. So I think that that word is not the best word for describing this. So I tend to use the word father. To describe this one instead. Now, for a lot of speakers, this would also be what would happen with the J.C. Wells lexical set word of lot, L-O-T. In my own speech, father, lot, those are the same. So that distinction will come up in certain accents. So I'll come into that in just a moment. With this one, the thing that primarily may happen it is considered this back. Vowel. It's an open, unrounded back vowel. In fact, it's the most open back vowel. This is the vowel the doctor uses when she wants to see down your throat. She says, "Say ah, ah,、uh, and that makes your tongue go down in the back." And so it's the one that makes your throat most accessible to see down or to stick some instrument down there so that you can have a gag reflex. You're welcome. So that ah sound, that father sound. That's this vowel. Now, for most Americans, if there's a tendency, it's that it may shift forward a bit, and it may almost start to approach this one here, which looks like a typed A as opposed to the script A, the one that would be a little bit more like the way most people would probably write an A. And this almost looks more like a, a typewriter A. This one I like to think of as the Boston Pakikar and Harvard Yard. Sound because that tends to be a more forward sound. Now notice in that I'm using park, car, Harvard, yard. Same vowel in all of those, creeping towards this. Well, this one is the father vowel, but it's also the vowel that is oftentimes used when transcribing the word start. Start, father, start. Here's the deal. There are very, very few true. Father words, and if you want to dive into this, you can see something that I've made about what I call Hell's Corner. We're back in Hell's Corner now. Like, what's going on with the sounds back here that are so crucial to learn about for learning any accent? So Hell's Corner, right? This part of it is what Lessac, Arthur Lessac,、uh, calls the five vowel. This is the ah sound. So he numbered vowels. And the trap vowel that we talked about was his number six, being even more open. And then father, and then he had words like honest be the four honest, and then he would have uh, uh, something like thought. I'm trying to remember what his word was, but、uh, oh, all a l l all honest fathers. So all honest. Fathers, so this would be the father. This would be the number five,、um, and this is the one that's commonly called the palm set. For Americans, it may tend to creep forward, so you may end up with something like where this kind of moves forward. So the plus sign means moving forward. You could also instead put the two dots above it, which means centralized, which means moving towards the middle, moving towards the center. Those are just a couple of different ways of really describing the very same thing. Another thing that's not uncommon to happen in some American accents is at least a little bit of rounding of that, so that、uh, in fact Americans, when it's in words like start, the start lexical set from J.C. Wells, when it's in a word like start, you tend to get some rounding that happens on it. Star a、uh, a、uh, art, park your car in Harvard Yard. There's a little bit of rounding that happens because of the r. Because Americans have a tendency to round their lips slightly, at least, for an R sound, in addition to some other things that go on with R sounds. So that 
park your car in Harvard Yard, or for many New Yorkers, for example, they will say, they will do a slight rounding and go, father. So that's your father who parked his car in Harvard Yard. So for New Yorkers, it'll tend to be like that, whereas for somebody from Boston, it'll tend to be, your father parked his car in Harvard Yard. A much more open sound and a much more forward sound. Those are the primary elements for that. The other word that I will use for this is the lot word, which is the case for many Americans, although some Americans will actually do some rounding to lot, especially when you're looking at the Northeast. It used to exist in more accents. You used to hear it a little bit more in the South, for example. You'll still hear it from many people from New Orleans, for example. There's a lot, lot, where you get a little bit of rounding that happens on that. And uh, it can happen for others, especially if they have the influence of somebody a little bit older uh, doing that around them. But that's something that you will hear in Boston, for example, is that in New York, these tend to stay the same with a little bit of lip rounding, father, lot. Whereas when you get to Boston, you end up with father and then lot, which is this script A turned. So it's a turn script A, part of Hell's Corner. And again, you can dive into that a little bit deeper if you want. So for a Boston person, it's more like father, lot. For a New Yorker, it tends to be almost this, father, lot. Especially if we're looking at something like that Brooklyn-esque sort of stereotypical sound for a New Yorker. You may end up with that ever so slight rounding. Probably not as far as that, but a little bit more of a mellow version of it. Now, technically, this is rounded and this is unrounded, so I'm taking this and adding some lip rounding, and I would like to imagine there's a distinction between this rounded somewhat and the rounded version of that thing. I know that's subtle differences. It's like a, a C-sharp D-flat, but live with it, okay? So, that's what I'm going to call the father vowel or the palm vowel lexical set in American speech and tendencies within that. 